Well, this doesn't this look like a boss arena? I saved, didn't I? I have one res. I think I'll be fine-ish. Or are the other gonna fuck up that badly? A circle. The game actually sort of counted it as a circle, too. Probably just needs a closed loop sort of thing. Now that the sides are done, what does it deal with the middle? Got game camera, please! We're as campy as can be. Are we going to finally learn what that thing is? Hey, look, that light. There's a constellation here. Dude, it's a... Isn't it daytime? getting crafty with, uh, with it right now, aren't we? Dot right there, and a dot right there. Another monkey? Oh no, it's a... Oh yeah, it sort of is. We have all of them now. And then he warps back. Uh, uh, oh, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I, that name is the uh, Sutaka, Su Sutakami, I think. Sutakami, the last of the tri of the triumvirate of the. Oh my God, these names <laughs> of the floral gods have humbly awaited your glorious return for a hundred years. May the fresh spring's growth blossom from your snow-white form. Bring new life to the land that suffers under evil. Suthagami, that, yes, that. That was Suthagami, the third and final god of the flora. He's the god that can make vines do his bidding. So that's how I climbed that statue back there, I think. Probably. Yeah. One folktale tells us how, tells how Tsutagami used that power to tie vines to his body so that he could fly through the, through the air. Oh, it's a, it's a grappling hook? Hey, that's the Konohana Blossom, the flower of the gods over there. Try making a vine sprout right, right out of it. Um, is it like a... Oh! Spider Amaterasu! That's sure. Well, it's sure to come in handy to have a god. To gotta go. Wow, it's sure handy to have a god around. I can't read it all. You could draw out vines when the Konohana Blossom is open. Oh, so it's not as, as immediately useful as I thought. Okay, but good. Let's look around and see if any other blossom. Another blooming. Like that one right there. And I got the achievement for Sukum. That thing. It's not like spider Amaterasu and more like just a uh, grappling hook Amaterasu. Secret agent Amaterasu. Because it lands us right on top of it. There's the next one. There's the next one. Oh, wait, it's uh, right there. I saw it. So 
the lights. Oh, we're actually not done with the statue just yet. And there are the hooks out to go back down if I want to save, I guess. Or, yeah, it is. Okay. I'm about to see. Is there anything else I can hook to around here? Probably not, so let's just... And from here, you just dive! Do you go to conventions and, and such a new cosplay? I have not gone to conventions yet because I cannot afford those things. The tickets are fucking expensive, man. And I've never actually tried cosplay. I doubt I'd actually be able to match a single, like, character or thing that I'd want. Because if I did, I'd probably say, I'm going to convention! Say hi, all that stuff. Like so many others that try to grow do. And also, a lot of people have been around for ages. Like, when I started the channel originally, and they know a lot, like, of what, we, what I do and how I try to make everything work, and it doesn't work all the time. There's another one. An ominous tone. Wait a second. I think I feel that. Yeah. It auto... It will auto, like, take you directly to it. And also, assuming I'm not crazy... That was my computer, not yours. This right here will go. It does actually draw the entire vine like that. Oh god! Oh, this is gonna be a grappling hook boss, isn't it? Great, we made it to the top. But it's just a dead end? Hmm, what's this? A hook? Doesn't it just make you wanna tie something to it? Oh, alright. That makes sense. So much, but now I would have thought you were doing cosplay. You really thought I'd be able to cosplay at all, man. You remember me. Fuck off. That would never that would never work. For I'm a Izzy maybe, but not me. Mostly online random people. Some people know me in real life, like you. And some people know other people in real life. Their own channels. But for a lot of reasons, just you see them online. And that's how you talk to them. Perfect to ask personal questions? I would say no. But depending on which ones they are, I'll just go ahead and say. Because I'm very comfortable with a lot of things being said to my audience. I sort of keep them in the loop for a lot of things in my life. Like, I make videos about what happened in my life and just what's going on in general. I like to keep them informed and... While not personal, I like making sure that relevant topics that can interfere with the video and the streams is known to them. Like, I'm a... During Hurricane Harvey, I let them know that I was in the flood zone and my house got flooded. I let them know when I lose my job, when things happen, and when things go on like that. Uh, private Discord, I'm a... In Discord PM, assuming the other person is okay with private questions, yeah, go ahead. But normally, respect people with privacy and their... and their... keep your curiosity in check for certain things. Understand that some things are private for the sake of having privacy. But depending on the question, I'll just go ahead and let you guys know about me, at least. If there's anyone else in chat or, or another question to someone else, that's between both of you. I can't really stop you from doing stuff like that. And that's a long hallway. Okay, now if anything is supposed to be a boss room, this is a boss room. Skulls and all. You obtained God Godhood tips. 
scroll drawn by wandering artists contains useful information. Tutorial scroll. Got it. And I obtained a bone. That reminded me of another nice niche in my Pokemon YouTuber who has moved on from YouTube. He wasn't really popular either. It was fun and to interact with. Nice to actually know that I remind you of someone else, I guess. Soul energy, that's my little healing thing for the boss fight if I ever fuck up that much. I debated of like playing Pokemon on my channel as well actually, but a lot of the game came down to I can't capture my 3DS. I don't have a capture card for it and I can't pay to have it shipped out and gotten one, so it's just kinda like that. It's interesting how people grow and change. It is Roho Dragon. It's actually kind of really interesting to talk to some people. I've talked to him, uh, if you remember from back in the day in, in high school, I talked to Isaiah. I've talked to uh, Trejo. Stephanie a little bit. I haven't talked to Ryan much at all, actually. Um, I'm forgetting his name. Omar I haven't talked to at all, actually. And uh, some other people in my life. I haven't really talked to them as much, but mainly we keep in track on Facebook and some other stuff. And I also am realizing I'm saying their real names, but... Ugh. Freaking dying over what? Like, I understand if there's a comedy routine going on, but what? It's fucking life talk, man. And my dog's sleeping. And I guess I... For at least Isaiah? Or some other people like that? I have a right. That fucker still has my PS2. From back in high school. He never gave it back. We're really gonna go in there? I really don't like Facebook. I don't like it either. I made sure that for Facebook and stuff, I stripped any identifying stuff off of it. Like, I have it for the sake of talking to old friends and that's it. Are you sure? Serious? I'm getting a real bad vibe here. What's beyond this door? You sure we're ready? Maybe we should go back outside. Are we ready? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Alright then. Let's go for it. Leap first. Think later. I understand people that don't use Facebook, and if I had a choice, I honestly wouldn't. But then so many, so much of my circle of friends in high school and family uses it, I kind of need you to stay connected, especially with the people that are out of country. Like a family in El Salvador, I talk to them through that mostly. Look, Amy. They're the Golden Gate. It'll store the memories of all you've done if you pass through it. That way, if you ever die, you can start over again from that point. A.K.A. the checkpoint. But um, The free pass to continue with your game, even after you mess up. I have this weird thing where I cut off communication with people who I attend school with. High school, college. I met some from high school while I was in San Monica and they, they thought I was dead. Yep, I am from El Salvador, Rojo. Thought you were dead? I honestly didn't think you were dead. I just thought you went off into your own little circle of stuff. But it does have its limits. Oh, great. Is there a number of times? The stored memories will be wiped clean if you quit the game. If you use an origin mirror to save the game, your memories will be transferred there. Now the way, passing through a golden gate or saving with an origin mirror will allow you to continue your adventure. Well, we might as well pass on through. There's actually no downside to this. Memories of all you have done stored in the Golden Gates. All right. Now what is this boss? No! Coyote time. Any good platformer has it. Ow, oh, nice going, fair ball. I keep telling you not to space out like that. Hey, something moved. Whoa! That's a... I don't know, the camera needs to pan up a little bit more, and that's a plant. Check out that big old flower. With eyes and... Like a Lovecraftian thing on it. We just might have stumbled onto something here. Flowers like this are usually just packed with treasure. <gasps> the 
the puppy. Hey, is that a dog down there? Oh no. What the fuck is that? <laughs> In midair, let us just do a backflip. Hey, let me let me go, Wolf Breath. I'm all covered in your slobber again. Matrix, motherfucker! Check out that shadow. I, I see eight. Wait, no. Wait, no. It couldn't be. Is Orochi the first boss? Or is it like his minion shadow thing? Are oh, you that dog that has been sniffing about? I will not allow you to ruin my master's triumph in return. It's a no! Sticking your nose where that does not belong will get you killed. Speak your last words, fool. Bark, bark. No idea, Rojo. I know he's doing animation right now, actually. How dare you? Dog is not usually on my menu, but I shall make you an exception. What are you talking about? I saw that dog you gobbled up. And besides, this ain't no dog. This here the god. <laughs> well, now. The beast can speak. Very well then, I shall send you back to where you came from. This shall not hurt a bit. Stand still for just a moment. Whip it! Get close and whip it. Okay, how do I... Actually, wait a second. We're playing Okami. Can I cut these? I cannot. But if there are stuff like that, then... Come to me! I attack the That one? To me. Oh wait, no, he stops it. Alright. And then I can I actually No I that old bat keeps spewing out the disgusting things. You just gotta sit there and let her do that. Actually, wait. Can I tie that to this? There they are. Come on, game. One hook. Game. Then again, my drawing feel that shit, but. Game, you're being real rude about this. Oh shit. Oh god. Ow.
Thankfully, we can run faster than she can actually jump around. So we can actually keep her in a loop like this until we figure something out. But wait, will the do our balls actually? Or okay, if we let her turn on us, we'll see. There's that again. Do I have to start from the hook onto that? Okay, I do. Maybe that's what I gotta do? Did I just cut my own thing? Can I bloom it? I cannot. Oh god, those things fall from the roof. How you do that, I guess. Oh, God, that's a homing attack. Good to know. Game's complicated? It doesn't seem complicated, it just seems like it's oh, God, precise. Ah, fuck, I walked under that, too. Okay, now you should probably... Oh, no, not what I was thinking. You have a bit of a delay on your attack, too. All right. Fight me, bitch. Okay, that's new. Ow. That hurt. Are you going to throw the seed at me so I can actually use that or no? Okay, so you can block that. Nice. This little plate can block a lot of Hey! Thank you for that. And thank you for finally doing that move. Come on, game. Game, are you gonna be a bitch about this again? Oh, yeah, it's the other way around, right. Just fucking forgetting that. There you go. Oh god, I'm eating. No. What can you do now, you spider? I figured you out. Okay, I didn't block that fully, I, I admit that. I got a fang, nice. How about... No. That's not a vine at all, but... Did I just... No, it doesn't actually... Oh, it did do it. Good. Out of this is good. I didn't block all of it, so I don't think I got a fang for that, but still.
And no fang on that either. Shit. But I think that's because the boss missed. Let me see that real quick. Game. I would have to do it for the one next to him, maybe. Game. Game. There you go. I want to try like to reflect one of those back, maybe. Be brave. Oh, there you're doing that. which means done and the Samatrasu was able to traverse the vine covered ruins and defeat the devious spider queen lurking within. The ugly arachnid's body had been turned into a beautiful blossom, and a feeling of tranquility reigned through the ruins, throughout the ruins. Inside the hardy blossom was discovered a tiny and defenseless dog, presumably consumed by the fearsome queen. And just when everything had begun to settle down, Snarling Beast, a weapon long sealed away by the Spider Queen, Spider Queen's magic, appeared before Amaterasu's eyes. A what? A fancy shield mirror? You obtained Divine Instrument, Snarling Beast. Reflector marked with a beastly seal, grants ink bullet power. We got guns? The Spider Queen was hiding a sacred weapon? Tricky old bag. Hmm. Maybe we'll get more weapons if we defeat some other monsters. Anyway, I can't wait to see what this one does. Look at that, Amy. The dog's just sleeping. Wonder if this is Ume. You know, the dog that the kid was looking for. Let's bring him back once he wakes up. But first... How about a good victory, Hell? It might even wake him up. Oh, woo! Come on. There you go. I did terribly. <laughs> oh, that's a, there's a there's a rating before a sapling. Oh shit! Like a a, wit a withered sapling. Save the game. Of course! Big ol' flower achievement gone. And yeah, uh, mostly Japanese anime games are playing stream. Um, not always. It depends on what people want to see. Like, people voted for Monster Hunter World, so I'm playing that Wednesday, Friday. Saturday right now is Okami. Before that, it was XCOM Enemy Within. Before that, we were playing some Reset Item Shop's Tale. Before that, we were playing Persona 4 and 5 and Yakuza 0. And we, we play a variety of things. It's not normally locked even just to RPGs alone. But it's whatever I want to see. I give them a choice of what I have available to me immediately on hand, and then they vote for what they want to see played. Whether it be an FPS, whether it be an RPG, whether it be a tactical game, any of that, it just depends on what they want to see and what I have that I can immediately get. By buying it on a sale or something else, if I probably already have it or have it the console that can play it.
that doggy! Give me back my key! I gotta go save Ume quick! Huh? We got you a dog. Ume, is that you? Are you, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? It must have been so scary all alone. What's wrong, Ume? About your dog, kid. He was deep within the ruins and he didn't seem to want to leave. Really? How come, Ume? How's it going, Amrak? Welcome to the stream! Well, have a good day, man. You mad at me for running away without you? You got it all wrong, kid. You only think you left your dog behind. Truth is, he decided to stay at the ruins himself. He did? But, but why? Maybe he was trying to set an example by showing you how anyone, even a dog, could have an adventure. Look at it this way. There's not much separating a boy from a man. They grow up before you know it and accomplish great things. I see. So I guess you, you knew everything, Ume. Like how my, my dad told me to go fix the bridge destroyed by the stone by the storm. And how I tried to get out of it because I was scared of failing. How's it going, Angelo? Welcome to the stream and internet working properly? Congrats, man! But your fearless adventure has changed me. Is you on game finally? Oh shit, which one you got? Oh, the new one? The the one condition of cybersuit. I forget what it's called, but you got it? Nice, man. You've given me the courage to stop shrinking respons or shrink responsibility. And a stick. My dad's fishing pole. I lost that in the forest some time ago. Where were you hiding it? You actually pulled it off the side of your body. How? Hacking memory? Something like that. Don does really want to get Cyrus with one day. Hey, man. It's a good game. Look forward to it. Aside from the second to final boss, that guy can go fuck himself. Did you sniff it out in those ruins all by yourself? Well, I'm gonna fix that bridge all by myself. Boy, is Dad gonna be surprised. <laughs> 